all right welcome back to exotic astrology everybody nice to see you it's a bright sunny morning here in gottingen and today we will discuss something very important for indian households <laughs> it is general for everybody but especially indian households because this is prominent in the indian houses in places especially in areas related to the asian countries and before beginning if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video click the like button and see my other videos also all right so what is the topic of discussion today how to solve the conflicts that arise between a wife and the mother in law this is especially for a person who is married and who is struggling to improve the relationship of his wife with his mother see the predicament is moon represents your mother <laughs> and venus represents your wife all right moon venus and unfortunately they are enemies in astrology they do not get along that is why whenever moon and venus are linked in a horoscope when i say linked i mean to say whenever they are conjunct or they are in mutual aspect and because they have only one aspect each of them so they can be aspecting each other only when they are seven houses apart from each other or if they are sitting together in any house in any sign with anybody else then this is what you mean by the effect of moon and venus relation with each other so then what happens is when moon and venus are conjunct then although this makes a person very sweet person he is a very sweet talker he is very romantic but at the same time venus represents your relationships and moon represents your emotions there is too much emotion too much dependency too much neediness too much desperation and also it is seen that these people if they do not find love happiness contentment joy fulfillment from one partner they become like the moon <laughs> because moon has a tendency to travel very fast everywhere so they have a bad habit of looking to other other people's partners especially moon is known to look at other men's wives and this is holding true even if you are a female you will also look at other uh, husbands when i say look at i don't mean nobody looks but when i say you will look it means you will look to go outside and do something <laughs> away from the boundaries of marriage which is detrimental to your spiritual progress and overall contentment in life so then this is about moon venus but even if they are not conjunct they are natural enemies right that means for a man his mother is the moon and wife is the venus that means they do not get along well each other with each other because the element is different because when i say element i mean to say that moon is a satvic planet satva means the mode of goodness it means all the good things in life peace happiness harmony contentment joy fulfillment it is resting actually satva is very pure it's perfect balance but venus is not a satvic planet venus is a rajasic planet it is rajas satvam raja tama iti <laughs> so rajas is the mode of passion passion is what passion is characterized by two traits hankering and lamentation the bhagavad gita says the people who are afflicted by not by saturn rahu <laughs> who are afflicted by the mode of passion will have these two domin dominant traits these traits are very prominent in people who are affected or afflicted by the mode of passion what is the first trait it is hankering the second is lamentation all right hankering and lamentation hankering means wanting to get something in the future all right lamentation means lamenting or crying or having sorrow for the things that you could not get for the things that you lost crying for the things which you could not obtain that's what is lamentation basically 
so they are either in the future which is hankering or in the past which is lamentation they cannot be in the present sattva means to be in the present to be in now not to be in tomorrow or yesterday so what happens is moon and venus are both different uh, they, they have different component the tattva the element is different because of which whenever these two come together there is a imbalance of sattva and rajas for example if you take a daily household scenario for uh, indian families the wife is newly married or maybe she is young she has lot of desires i want to go to paris i want to go to rome i want to go to italy i want to go to pennsylvania i want to go here i want to go there <laughs> i want to go everywhere <laughs> and she wants the best of the best luxuries she wants the best car she wants the best home yes and she wants to have a great social life she wants everything because that is the tattva of venus uh, that is youth beauty luxury socializing all those typical venus traits but the moon which is your mother is very satvik the mother says why do we want to go outside just sit here just have a good time just relax stay with your family come back from us come back from germany come back from italy come back from australia settle here you will have nice time you will be peaceful but then the wife says no 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 we are not going there we will stay in australia <laughs> and we will have a great time here okay and the mother says you should have children it's getting late you are married for 2 years 3 years because the moon represents children also i mean because it's the mother and mothers love children and the wife says no 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 now is not the time for children children later let's have fun first so this is the difference of the tattva of moon and venus and their approach to particular things in a day to day household is also different the mother may say okay give this much salt she may say no 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 put more <laughs> the mother may say oh, use this green cloth she may say no 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 we will use the red <laughs> so because the planets are at war with each other that is why this fundamental incompatibility is there but then the question is uh, what to do is it a doctrine is it a dictum of helplessness should we just say that oh nothing is going to happen uh, it's all finished that is it everything is destroyed is it no it is not the way so what we have to do is we have to find a connection which is between moon and venus where both of them are happy should i repeat we have to find a common connection by which both of them are happy how to find that <laughs> can you try <laughs> can you see some planet which is linked to both moon and venus let me keep smiling <laughs> yes you are right the planet is jupiter why am i saying jupiter <coughs> because jupiter gets exalted in the sign of cancer and venus gets exalted in the sign of pisces what does it mean it simply means that jupiter is one planet which has the power to link moon and venus in the best possible way how we will discuss how but first let us see the exaltation signs for example venus gets exalted in pisces why because pisces is the last sign of the zodiac and there the planet venus reaches highest fulfillment content in the 28 degrees of revati nakshatra because it is the sign where you become completely selfless you lose yourself and you become in one in spirit with the almighty you are so much engrossed in god there that you forget everything you forget venus in libra which is about sexuality about other people venus in taurus which is about luxury food all these things you forget you are just wanting to be with god you just want to connect to god you 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 can't stay without spirituality that is the exaltation sign of venus isn't it very peculiar <laughs> 
and then Jupiter gets exalted in the sign of Cancer which is the sign ruled by Moon. That means Jupiter which is your spirituality gets exalted there. Why? Because Cancer is the sign of emotions. It is the sign of the heart. That means if you are doing some spiritual practice, either it is you are reading the Gita or you are reading Bhagavatam or you are chanting some mantras or you are doing some yoga, pranayam, whatever you are doing. If you are not doing that with your heart and soul, then there are chances that the results of the promise of the scriptures, whatever the scriptures promise that if you do this, this will happen, those will be reduced or perhaps nullified, may not be completely, but the effects will be reduced. So, whenever you are doing spiritual practices, you have to do it with all heart and soul. And Jupiter gets debilitated in the sign of Capricorn. Why? Because Capricorn is the sign of work. It is just mundane work. When I say mundane work, I do not mean materialistic work. That itself is Capricorn. But when I say mundane work, it means it's like your workplace. Either you like it or you don't like it, you do as a formality, right? You don't keep thinking, okay, the boss has told me this, but I don't like to do this. Maybe I will not do. No, you can't say that. Either you like it or you don't, you have to do it at all costs. Therefore, it is very important that Jupiter, which is your spirituality, does not go into the area of Capricorn, which is what? Maybe a setting in a family where a priest comes and the father says to the daughter, oh, go and give him prasad, go and serve him. And the daughter is like, ah, these people, I don't know why they come, all these people. Father is telling, so I am going. Gujarati, no, papa, no. <laughs> Papa is telling that is why you are going. You do not have your inner intentions. You are waiting. When this person will leave from here? Na? These old priests and all these people. I just don't like them very much. You may not hate them, but... <laughs> but in Mahabharata, we have the example of Kunti. Kunti served Durvas Muni so perfectly that Durvas Muni gave her a mantra that... Whoever demigod you call, he will come and give you a child. My God, just look at this. Why did Kunti get that blessing? Because she served Durvas Muni with all her heart and soul. She was all the time there. It is like the mother. Mother is the sign of cancer, which means that it does not think about giving or doing things. Yes, it always wants to give selflessly. So when you are doing some spiritual practice, you also have to be selfless. So that is why Jupiter gets exalted in the sign of Cancer. If you are doing things officially, it will not yield results. Now, coming to Moon and Venus. So there you see there is one planet. There is only one planet. There is no other planet. Try to connect. I don't see if there's any other planet. And I have seen this working time and time and time and again. So what you should do is, you have to bring the common element, Jupiter, between Moon and Venus. Do you see that? Because then, all the three, the combination is very harmonious. Because Venus will find fulfillment in the sign of Pisces and Jupiter will find fulfillment in the sign of Cancer. That means when you try to connect Venus and Moon who are natural enemies, the only way out is that you connect them through Jupiter which means you have to make a spiritual angle between them. When I say spiritual angle, it simply means that you have to make them do spiritual activities together. What do I mean by spiritual activities? Spiritual activities are different activities. For example, going to the temple, take, uh, taking enlightenment from the sages, the saints, the rishis or the celibate preachers or even if somebody is a householder and they may also be very much knowledgeable. Yes, like Yudhishthira Maharaj was a householder, Arjuna was a householder, Prithu Maharaj was a householder, Dhruva Maharaj was a householder. <laughs> you don't have to be a monk to practice spirituality then whenever you see that there are avenues where there is a chance for spiritual enlightenment try to take both of them together if you are a man especially try that you take your wife and your mother together because then what happens is you will see that naturally their relationship improves because 
Jupiter is the planet which will make both of them happy. Yes. <laughs> and then what happens? When you practice spirituality, which is Jupiter, ultimately you realize that you are not the controller. That's what Lord Krishna says. You are not the controller. I am the controller. <laughs> so mother-in-law and uh, the wife quarrels are only because both of them have a tendency of controllership. Both of them have a tendency to dominate. They want that the boy, the mother wants that the son should only listen to her. And the wife wants that do hell with the mother. I am the wife. He should only listen to me, right? I am the main man here. <laughs> but when they will practice spirituality, what will happen is the controllership mentality will reduce. It will probably be nullified. It will be extinguished. And then what happens? You will understand that they are not fighting over trivial things because that's what Venus in Pisces is. That's what Jupiter in Cancer is. You're very broad-minded. You're very accommodating. You are very much... You have a lot of understanding. You have a lot of maturity. Mm -hmm. They will not be fighting over nitpicky things like Virgo. That's why Venus gets debilitated in Virgo. That is why a woman who is selfish, who only thinks of herself, will be destroyed in no time. Should I repeat? A woman who thinks of herself before others is destroyed. She will be the most miserable girl you will see ever. I am telling you, telling you, telling you. I am not saying this. In fact, Parashara writes. <laughs> Venus gets debilitated in Virgo. So a woman gets destroyed completely. When I say destroyed, it doesn't mean she dies. It means her inner happiness is finished. The moment she is fixing her mind into Virgo, everything is finished. Virgo is a very narrow sign. It just wants things the way it wants. <laughs> or it wants things the way it thinks is the best. All right. It doesn't think about others. <laughs> that is why typical symptoms of Venus in Virgo. As soon as the husband is back to home from the office typical scenario the wife will start okay today your mother said this today he said this today he said that and the poor fellow husband already eight hours he has spent in the office hearing from his boss his colleagues his friends fighting battles for promotions etc for uh what do you say this uh, vacations and then at the end what happens he comes home and the only thing he gets is depression you are making your husband depressed. <laughs> I have seen this typically everywhere time and again. Either the wife is a housewife, either she is in the family. And then she will keep telling, okay, your brother, son did this. No, he did this. He got that. She got that. Or if she is not a housewife, she is working, then she will come with all the negativity. She will come that... Okay, today my boss said this. Now, oh, this girl, she got promotion. I didn't get. Oh, I'll kill her if I get, get time. <laughs> oh, she's having an affair. I know her. <laughs> so, either you are a housewife or you are working. You are both in the same place. Only thing if you do is you bring negativity when the husband comes in and then you say, Oh, my husband is not loving me. Oh, maybe he's having an extramarital affair. Of course, he will have. Who likes to stay with women who are like Virgo, right? <laughs> of course, I'm not saying that men should leave women like this. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is when the element of spirituality is there, the person becomes very broad-minded. Then probably it is not that important how much salt you put in the pulao in the biryani or in the paneer right probably there are other things to focus in life for example higher things like jupiterian things which is spirituality for example a man if he's seeing that his house has become like a kurukshetra where his wife and his mother are fighting all the time and he has become like that chutney what you call in chutney it's like the sandwich he's like should i listen to her or should i listen to her yes and most of the times I have seen they will listen to the mother because you have to respect the mother because she has given you so much. Yes. But at the same time, you cannot ignore your wife also. So then what you should do is you should try to 
connect them spiritually very simple you go go and purchase the bhagavad gita and you three of you sit together and you read what krishna is telling in and when they hear the living entity is trying to be the controller then you will see a smile in their face <laughs> they will not show it but they will be smiling inside i am 100% sure they will be smiling so then what happens they will know that yes all the problems is only because we want to sit in the throne i want to sit in the engine of the car or oh, sorry not the engine the steering of the car i will not let you sit there so when they come to know that nobody actually sits in the steering it is only krishna god who is sitting there then they will realize there is no use of fighting over which cloth to use to clean the desk yes and they will become very broad minded they will become very open minded they will become very much accommodating another problem is with virgo is people are not accommodating yes that is why venus gets debilitated there it only wants this or no way either my way or highway <laughs> okay that is it from my side do not miss a chance to improve yourself spiritually and especially your wife and your mother in law and i am thousand million billion trillion percent sure that the moment you start doing this even if your mother in law uh, even if your mother and if the wife is having a good relationship it will improve because do not trust goodness today it is there today it is tomorrow it's not there things can go haywire any time so either your wife and your mother has a terrible relationship or sorry sorry relationship or neutral relationship or good or fabulous relationship irrespective of that you should do this remedy introduce spirituality read holy books together and go to satsang meet holy people and try to cultivate other people and chant mantras read the holy scriptures like the gita or if you are from a different religion than quran or bible or whatever whichever tradition you are following and when you do this you will see there is revolutionary change revolutionary transformation in the household because ultimately jupiter gets exalted there in cancer which is the fourth house of home so your home will become like jupiter the most beautiful planet all right that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments or if you know somebody who is struggling especially many men in india because they become the sandwich even i have seen my father no no my father not so much because my grandmother didn't stay with <coughs> us but i have seen so many other people and i know so many who are going to be a sandwich very soon <laughs> <laughs> maybe including myself also who knows <laughs> okay that is it from my side if you're new to the channel then subscribe below if you have any questions queries then please let me know okay until next time bye bye see you